Welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah. Today is Sunday and both of my roommates are out of town so I thought it would be a perfect day to show you kind of like a weekend in my life. So I just worked out, went for a nice run and walk in the park and now I'm going to go to Trader Joe's and give you guys a little haul and then I have some chores I need to do around the house. Gonna have a FaceTime with the friends and we'll see what else happens. So hope you enjoy. mistake <laughs> so I walked to Trader Joe's and the line was no joke at least a hundred and twenty people like blocks long so I was like these people are insane I'm not gonna do this so then I walked to another Trader Joe's which was like a mile away from that same thing at least two of the like longer blocks long like like that one was a little bit shorter but maybe at least a hundred people and i was just like there's just no way because i can go tomorrow and literally walk in with no line i'm not gonna waste an hour plus standing there so i walked back to my house and went to the grocery store one block away got some essentials um and I'll probably go to Trader Joe's sometime during the week, but I seriously cannot believe people are waiting in those lines. But I walked an hour and 50 minutes and I've walked over 14,000 steps today and it's only like noon. So, but now I'm kind of hungry, so I might make some lunch, but I just got into my comfy sweats. And um, here is what I got. So I wanna make this like chickpea stew and um, just like soups and stuff during the week. So I mostly got stuff for that. I got some tomatoes for tomato soup, some dry chickpeas, onion, celery, some lettuce for salads at lunch, chicken sausage, curry paste, lemon, Big thing of garlic, some carrots, cauliflower, big bunch of kale. Chickpeas were on sale also. It was like four for five dollars of the organic one, so I got four of those for my soup. Or it's actually a chickpea stew. Two cans of coconut milk, also for my stew. And then a thing of chicken stock. And that's it. So that was $50. I usually try to spend like no more than $80 a week on groceries. So that doesn't leave me like a lot of room for other things. So hopefully I can get by with just making like massive um, batches of soup. So I'm going to whip up some lunch now. Mmm, that is good.
guys it's been a while it's 4 30 p.m now i had like an hour and a half two hour facetime call with my two best friends Haley and claire from college which was super duper fun and then i just started going on my cleaning binge because my roommates are out of town so i've just been leaving the dishes out being super lax and i now got really stressed out but it's sunday i like to clean on sundays anyways so I just finished washing my sheets, I swept and swiffered the entire apartment, and now I'm going to mop the entire apartment. finished all my cleaning and it felt really good and now I'm in my PJs and starting to unwind getting ready to relax for the evening so right now I'm gonna have like a real self-care moment and I'm going to start off with something new that I got this facial steamer came one with one of these hilarious bunny ear things to like hold your hair back while you're doing your steaming so I'm going to put this on so I don't get my hair super wet now I have bunny ears open it's starting to go I also have my humidifier on so we're going to be very very moist let the steam really get in there it feels so good it's very therapeutic I have my candle going and I brewed myself some ginger turmeric tea I'm just really trying to be nurturing it's November 1st starting the month off on a good note I worked out this morning I walked 10 miles today so just really trying to relax did all my chores feeling good about it and it's gonna make me feel really good starting the week off on a clean note okay I am all done steaming so now I'm going to do my gua sha and you need oil for it so I'm just going to use some of my squalene oil from the ordinary because I love what this stuff does to my skin. So, just do four, actually I'll do five drops of that from my hands. I'm going to do a few strokes with each motion. Doing this drastically depuffs my face, especially like at night and in the morning. And it feels really good. Like I feel like my skin actually looks glowy afterwards, which I don't know how that's possible. So now I'm going to do a face mask because I'm really just taking the self-care thing as far as I can so I'm gonna use the summer Fridays jet lag mask this is all the rage right now I actually don't really like it that much like I think it's okay just not great and it's kind of expensive so I'm just trying to use it TBH so I'm going to get some of this and I leave the squalene oil on my face because it's just extra hydrating as you can see 
the theme of this is I my skin is kind of dry because my body is you know adjusting to living in a new climate and the seasons are changing right now in New York to me it, this does not even feel like a mask it just feels like a moisturizer okay so there's that now I am going to stay here finish sipping on my tea and then today when I was walking to the grocery store I guess I can take this ridiculous thing off now um when I was walking to Trader Joe's which as you remember I didn't end up going to I was listening to my church service podcast I've been listening to um transformation church and it's so good and I feel like I just need to jot down my thoughts so they stay with me because it was a lot to um, absorb and so many good points so I want to maybe go back and listen a little bit and write down some takeaways so I'll probably do that right now um, and then I'm going to read. 